the other field that is just behind us is one in which we're um, evaluating different soybean varieties. So there's there's a lot of work um, that, it, that again, we're passing up, but if you do have questions about some of those, uh, just let us know. I'll turn it over to Axel. Thank you, Brett. Well, uh, as Brett pointed out, we have here two experiments. Uh, unfortunately, we are not going to be able to see us both at the same time, but this first, from where the sunflower starts to here, uh, the objective is to study uh, the tolerance of sunflower to drought. So what we are doing is we are imposing drought at different uh, growth stages. We just started, so the differences right now are not that big. But basically, the first uh, plot over there is the fully irrigated, and this one, which is incorrect actually, it's not rain-fed, it's, it's just uh, non-irrigated. We irrigated just one for establishment, okay? So the first one over there is fully irrigated, and this is non-irrigated, just one irrigation for establishment. The second one from there to here, we start irrigating when the crop was at uh, growth stage we call R1, which is when the, when the head just start to appear, and which, which is uh, physiologically when the crop needs more water. And uh, the other uh, treatment, which is over there, is going to be, we are going to start irrigating it when this, when we start to see the yellow here inside, which is R4. Well, this is second year experiment. What we can practically have from here so far is the following. We already noticed that if we plant sunflowers, these are confection sunflowers actually, if we plant sunflowers and we irrigate it, we don't need, with our few results, we don't need to irrigate until we are more or less in this stage. So. We practically save at least a couple of irrigations. So from here, we should irrigate uh, until a certain moment. So that's the practical uh, output of this uh, of this study. Besides that, we are conducting several other, uh, let's say, studies with this uh, plot. Now going to the next plot, which is the one that starts where it's already flowering. This is really very interesting because two reasons. One is because a farmer from here to the Indonesian came to us and asked us for something similar to this. And actually, his name is uh, Brian Dyke. Brian might be somewhere here. Brian, you are here? Okay, Brian is over there. Okay, uh, Brian came to us and he asked us whether or not we could conduct an experiment regarding ending time of irrigation and the quality of the seed. Right? As you may know, for uh, confection sunflower, the quality of the seed is very important. What we do here in the region so far is we apply technology for oil sunflower for this kind of product. And we believe that something should be different in terms of management. So in that management, we are trying to come up with here. So we have I guess seven planting dates from uh, May the 3rd to June 29th. And we plant approximately every 10 days. So as the, as the trailers move, you might see that the first one is already flowering and you will see the, the last one in uh, June 29th just coming up. Well, besides the planting date, at each planting date, we are going to end irrigation at different times, three times actually. So each planting date is going to be divided in three subplots, and each subplot is going to have an ending irrigation. We will add one now, the next in a week later, and the other two weeks later, as, as, as compared to the first one. And then we will look for uh, yield and for the quality of the seeds. So these are the two experiments we have here, and uh, we are really very excited with what we have gotten so far and uh, we expect uh, we have to have really very nice results with this planting date creation uh, study. 